How is it going? Today we'll be learning how to do anamorphic bokeh inside of Blender using the basic features that we have inside of our camera without the use of any external add-ons. This tutorial is going to be very simple and easy and straightforward and you can use it in any of your projects and it's very simple and nice to have and to know. So let's get into it. So for the shot we're going to be experimenting with, I imported a night sky image texture um, using this add-on. It's free, it's called Images as Planes. You can import any textures on a plane or images and have them inside of Blender. I'll plug uh, the color inside of the emission and strengthen it a bit. And now you have some emission in the background. And we're gonna have the focus on the cube. So the cube is our main object. This image is the background. So basically with the cameras, a lower focal length you'd usually use this in case you have huge environments it's like a fisheye lens where you'd want to showcase more of the environment um, however a lower focal length is going to give you a worse bokeh on the other hand a higher focal length is used for you know portrait shots and uh, product renders usually when you want to focus on one object and it's going to give you a better looking bokeh so we're going to be experimenting with both of those and I'll be showing you. So I'm going to start with a higher focal length, I mean a lower focal length. And yeah, so we're going to click on depth of field and select the cube as our object. <coughs> so notice even if we are now lower the f-stop, you are going to get some depth of field. It's gonna blur it a lot. You're gonna get some depth of field. The bokeh isn't gonna be as precise and it's not gonna pop as much. Um, however, it still works in this case. You can still do it that way if you if you like how it looks. However, what I recommend is bumping the focal length to a very high value such as 150 or something. And so usually a lower f-stop is gonna be more blurry. A higher f-stop is gonna be more normal. And another thing that you can do is you can mess with the blades. So the blades determines how many edges your bokeh has. So as you can see in the background, if it's set to zero, I think it's gonna be a uh, radial. It's gonna be like a circle. And the minimum value that you can set it to is three, actually, zero and three. So if I like, set it to one, it's gonna immediately go to three. This is gonna give us three edges. So our bokeh is gonna be triangular. And you know, you can have a square bokeh, four edges, five, six i personally go with six so as you can see it looks like an, a hexagon and one more important thing is the ratio so the ratio controls how stretched your bokeh is um generally speaking for anamorphic lenses the ratio is usually set to two or three so it usually has like this stretched look to it so that's it for the tutorial if you found it helpful drop a like and sub all of the project files are going to be available on Patreon. Link is going to be in the description down below. You can support the channel as well as um, you're going to get access to project files, tutorials, and other exclusive things. And that's it. Goodbye.